I love how the media spins the story that having more single women than ever before is a good thing. When there is an increase in single men, they have to paint it in a negative light by saying we're lonely, as if men being single is a huge problem. Let me state unequivocally that men are better equipped to remain single than women ever will be, and that is undeniably true. This has been done for centuries, so I'm not sure what they're saying. The only issue now is the love ninja sucker, and it's the guys who can't get any women who are suffering the most because they don't have access to romance. I believe the main issue is that more and more men are being denied access to bedroom fun, and it's not so much the relationship aspect that bothers most men these days. I believe that if most men had access to romance and could still procreate and raise their children in the absence of marriage without being penalized by the family court, we wouldn't have as many men in trouble. Women, on the other hand, require more relationships than men. So don't let them fool you into thinking they're fine without a man as they get older and illnesses and health scares become more prevalent in their lives. They'll want a partner or family as soon as possible because they know they'll be alone in their old age. This is why women desire children so much. When you take away the biological urge to procreate, the payoff from child support, and the attention they receive from having children, they see their children as an insurance policy for when they reach retirement age. I know this for a fact because I've heard several women say it, and I've seen what happens to elderly women who don't have anyone to care for them, and it was a sight to behold, that I will tell you. According to a Pew Research Center analysis of government data, women have surpassed men and now account for more than half of the college-educated labor force in the United States, 50.7%. Since 2010, the percentage of women executives has increased across all developed regions, with Asia seeing the greatest gains, with participation more than doubling since 2010. Women earned 64 cents for every dollar earned by men in 1980, ranking third in income growth. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the gap in consumer power is now between 77 and 85 cents on the dollar. Rising labor force participation rates should put upward pressure on women's wages and contribute to increased consumer spending overall. Apparently, when women were given the opportunity to thrive in cities, they did. Who would have thought that everyone with a smidgen of critical thinking did? Gents, there are literally more women in America than men. So it's only a matter of time before they outnumber us in the college workplace. However, because of their high student loans and personal debt, Women still do not have more money than men, and the majority of them aren't saving anything. To help us, please watch this video. Please subscribe and send this video to anybody you think will benefit from it the most.